Hey y'all, yesterday I went to the local PetSmart to uh, find some methylene blue and they don't carry it. What are you gonna do? But I ended up walking out with a new plant. Every time I go, I always look and see what they've got, little, little ferns of some sort. And I'm gonna show you how I plant this one. This one, their common name is uh, African Water Fern. It's one of uh, PetSmart's brand top fin. And it is called Bulbitis hudelatii diformis. And I will put that in the video. Uh, but it's one of the Bulbitis, and I really like those. And I'm gonna plant this the way I often plant these epiphytic plants. You can stick them on a piece of wood, you can stick them on a rock. So here we go. So they come packed in this tube, right? There's a lid on it, I already slid the lid off and slid this little cartridge out. And in this little cartridge, there is this stuff. I got a whole bunch of it here. For whatever reason, I always save it. I don't know why. It's this gelatinous stuff. They often use it in the landscape industry, especially in dry climate areas. They'll put this down in the hole. You buy it in, in a, um, gosh, I think they sell it in what looks like a, a half gallon milk container. Um, and you poke holes in it, you stick it down in the hole, slowly, slowly releases water. Uh, to the new plantings. Anyway, I save it. I'll eventually just toss it into one of the potted plants out here in the landscape. So what I do is they've got a tape around here. So a lot of times if they're stuck in there, I'll cut it. But this one, it's going to come right out. So I'll open that up later, pour it in there. So what I'm going to do now is attach this thing. I thought this rock would work. Why not? And there's not a lot of contact point here, but that'll be all right. And clean up any kind of nasty stuff. I bought another one the other day that I don't know if it's going to make it. This is a broken frond. It's a fern, so ferns have fronds. Clean that out. And what I'm going to do is just put a little dab of glue right there on the rock. And this is uh, just regular old Gorilla Super Glue gel. And get a dab going here if I can. There it is. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Should be kind of shiny right there. And I tend to keep this stuff upside down when I can. And it's gonna fall over for now and that's okay. And I will stick this to the rock here and hold for, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. And that is it. And then I'll stick it in water, obviously. And this was a rock out of a out of a fish tank, so it's clean. Might have some dust on it. I'm not too worried about that. And I'll stick it back in a tank. There it is. It's the landscape. Kind of cool, huh? So anyway, that's how easy it is. A little rock plant on a rock. And that's really just how easy it is. This one's got a fairly flat surface underneath, so I could set this on a bare bottom tank if I want to, and it'll do its do its trick. Uh, and ideally. If this takes, uh, it'll get quite nice, quite big. Um, and at some point, it'll be uh, be able to divide it um, from the base because this type of fern, they're, they're, here's a word for you, rhizomatous, they, uh, they grow along a rhizome, which is a modified stem. Um, and there are nodes along that modified stem that will shoot out more rhizomes, more, more modified stems and also more fronds. So there we go. So Bulbitis, whatever it was, and I will put that on the screen because that's a new one to me as far as that, that genus. And it's a, I guess it's uh, Bulbitis is the genus and whatever the other was a species and maybe a subspecies or maybe, you know, the two names both uh, are the species themselves. So we'll see. All right, and I'll keep you posted on this. As always, thanks for watching.